we're working on the Army Corps vessel Elizabeth, putting new engines in the vessel. I can the front words, eh? New engines that will replace old environmentally unfriendly ones that were well past their prime. The engines were old two-stroke technology, very old. They were worn out when the Corps got them. They put them in the boat because that's all they had at the time. And uh, they burned a lot of fuel, they smoked badly, and they were in dire need of an overhaul. Dan, hold on with yours. So contractors working at the Norfolk District's Great Bridge Lock facility perform a delicate maneuver with a crane and chains to put the two new engines into place, expanding the Elizabeth's lifespan and making the vessel more green. The new engine technology brought e new EPA standards, no more smoking, no more overloading. We'll burn about one-third less fuel, and uh, as far as uh, emissions, the emissions are incredibly low. I've got you. Bob also says the new engine technology will make the boat run more efficiently. They're fly-by-wire, and uh, what that means is it's all electronic controls right to the engine, and you can push the throttle all the way home if you'd like, but the engine won't give it full power until the boat comes up to speed. According to Bob, this means the engines won't be pumping unused fuel out the exhaust, as is the case with the older technology. Substantial fuel savings costs. This, these are green engines, green technology. Uh, will we'll increase the horsepower considerably from what they had before. The new technology ensures the Elizabeth will be out on the water picking up debris and assisting in sediment sampling operations for many years to come. From Chesapeake, Virginia, we're down on the mountain here. Patrick Bloodgood.